Hey YouTube, welcome back, guys. So uh, today I'm going to uh, show you guys a tutorial on how to change a 2009 Honda Civic EXL. This one is with the AC uh, compressor. So you might have a different bell if you don't have the AC. So the one with the AC, you can use this. Uh, I uh, use the original genuine uh, parts from uh, Honda Motor. This one's the V belt 04301-RNA-307, and this is uh, made in USA. And then there's a printing over here. Okay, make sure it's the original one. You might have the copy or replica one that's uh, online. And here is the layout for the serpentine uh, belt or engine belt. So be sure to loop it up this uh, correctly. This is from the previous uh, generation. They had to correct this because uh, the hydraulic tension get uh, messed up. So they had to use this uh, correct way. That's how they uh, change around. You will need some uh, flashlight. And this is the tool that I had, uh, rented from uh, AutoZone. It's an OEM tools for professional uh, serpentine uh, belt tool, 27115. And uh, it cost me about $30 plus tax, $32.63. So they charge you first and uh, you have 90 days to uh, return the tools. So once you return the tool back to uh, AutoZone, they uh, give you that money back or credit back to you. So, and uh, this bill, it cost me $39.70. My buddy has a Honda account, so I got like a, I got knocked out about like $10 off because the uh, listing price is about $49.63. So with the tax on this one is $43.17. So let's go ahead and then uh, go to the garage and then uh, I'm going to show you guys the tips and tricks on how to use this tool. By the way, uh, I check out the tool and unfortunately the size that uh, they came with is too small. They have a uh, 15 millimeter, 14, 13, and then uh, some of this uh, socket, 18 uh, millimeter, but it is uh, too small. The one for the Honda the Civic, ESL or probably apply to the Honda Core and uh, has to be 19 millimeter so this one is too uh, small and 15 again so probably 14 and then uh, 13 again so yeah and then come with this uh, extension for the bigger uh, socket So the long one is already in the car, so let's go and then move on to there. All right, as you can see, the long tool is in the position right now. I had to use my uh, own uh, socket, except the ratchet, because the ratchet, it is uh, too uh, thick. And by the time I insert this, it's uh, hitting one of the engine mount on the left-hand side. So this is the pattern for the socket which is uh i cannot use this one i had to use the one with a more uh, different angle which i'll show it to you later and because that one give me more leverage because when i ins when i insert this one and then uh when i insert this one it's not allowing me to uh put this tool in because uh somebody didn't go into this uh hole so I said use the one with the more uh, angle, so. And as you can see, it is in right now. So as you can see, it is uh, in there. So when I pry upward or uh, toward the 
passenger or the driver's uh, side, the engine bell is going to become loose. Okay, so there's a tension right there. The reason I re uh, want to change it because uh, this bell has been uh, ripped, and uh, when I take it to the body shop, I guess the, somehow they swapped the engine belt because uh, this is not my original one. Somebody swapped it out. That's why uh, they somehow they mess up the AC aluminum uh, line right there. It is uh, out of the place because I guess they try to yank it out. And this line is supposed to uh, sit over here. So I'm going to pry it out and then uh, put this on a tripod so you get to see. And before you go ahead and do that, you want to make sure you look around the bell loop, how they loop it. So you go into this uh, alternator and then uh, go down to the AC compressor and then there is a pulley right here. Yeah, that one right there. You see the engine bell is looping around it. And then there's a big uh, pulley right there on the back right there. Normally they re uh, recommend to remove the wheel. So you can remove the fender liner. So you could uh, easy to look that uh, belt that's in all the way in there. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to pull this up the tension real quick. And you will see the engine belt is going to become loose. And you want to do it slow. But the reason I'm not going to take it out yet, I want to make sure uh, I can loop the engine belt in the back first. I don't want to take it out and then I cannot move the car or whatever. So. I gotta make some uh, space right here, so. So I wanna show you the difference. This is the one almost like a hexagon. And this one is like a more than hexagon. Probably like a 12 angle, you see? So I get more leverage because the, with the, this one on the left hand side, you see when I tilt it, it doesn't really make a difference, only two position. Versus this one I can, do like a multiple position when I rotate it because uh, they have a more of this uh, cutout. All right, so we need to remove the tire in order to get into the fender liner. So I'm gonna go and do that. And this one has a wheel lock. I need to use a adapter to take out the wheel lock.
don't want to judge you right there, the red one. We need to remove those, uh, these two of the plastic uh, fastener with a flathead screwdriver. So you gotta pop this out. I can see it. I can see it right here, so I'm not gonna move it out of the way then. Okay, I'm gonna insert this uh, socket first. Oh, shoot. And then I insert this. Sometimes it doesn't fit, they're gonna rotate. Stuff like that AC line right here. Thank you. 
My hair is all broken. I'm going to put this bell in there. Hold this side here. Just hold it down. Let's see. Hold, oh, no, no. Okay, hold. There you go. So hold this while this this one you push up later. Okay, when I told you to do it, I told you to go and then just move this out of the way. Okay, okay. don't move it. <laughs> Go all the way already? No, I'm still holding. No, look. Oh, this one, this one. This one, that go. Unhook it. Yeah. So hold your pl in position, okay? Okay. Hold it there. Do the tension with a push in, okay? Okay. Uh, just touch it like that, Joe. Touch it, yeah. Push against that, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. Yes.
Oh my goodness. All right, we finally got it in, so it's kind of tricky. So hopefully it's uh, gonna start the engine without any problem or issue. So gonna put the tire back and then uh, start it up. So yeah, if you want, make sure you inspect the the belt and everything. Double check it before you uh, put it back up. So once you started the engine, you should have no problem. So Yeah, they freaking installed that thing. I didn't put it that way. I'm missing two other things. Like those um, fastener. So. Uh, uh, there you go. This is called a center cap, Joe. It's called a center cap. Uh huh. There's no need to pop it out. Oh, huh? Okay. It's called a center cap. Should we put it in? Always have a jack, jack stand. So in case uh, this one fall, it's not gonna crash you on your chest. And you're gonna die. You wanna do like a cross pattern? I'm gonna go like this, and about this, 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 this. Okay. And with this lock, you don't need to try not to tie it too tight, but yeah. You just a uh, hand tight for now. Because the tire is loose, you wanna let the car go all the way down before you tighten it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to mess up this, uh, uh, what do you call that? Boots. Okay, so this one is a, in case someone tries to steal the tire. Or the, the wheel. So this prevent from them to steal, but if they have a special tool, they can still take it out though. So this is kind of tricky. <laughs> so this one is kind of tricky. Got to use the pin to wrench. Oh, this is this is a hydraulic. So this is release a hydraulic. And what you want to raise it back up? You got to tighten up again. Now. Uh, Put your weight on it and tighten it up. Now it's kind of tricky. 
All right, cross your finger, guys. I'm gonna start it. By the way, there are two other holes for the, the rod to sit on. If you put on this one, this, this rod is going to get in the way. So be sure to put on this one, okay? There's your tips. Alright, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notification or drop in the comments on below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video, guys. Like always. Peace.